Hey guys, we have a BlackBerry Key 2 daughter board here with a charge port that is clearly damaged. We're going to replace it. We're going to start by adding flux to each of the anchor points for the USB-C charge port. Then we're going to add solder to each of them. Once we're done on the bottom side of the board, we're going to flip it and apply solder to the top side of the board. This is going to allow us to very effectively heat the charge port off of the daughter board. So what you can see us doing next here is holding the charge port with a pair of tweezers. And then we're going to grab our heat station at 50 degrees Celsius and 50 airflow and heat to the port and we're going to let gravity do its job and watch as the daughter board falls once the solder reaches melting temperature. We have our charge port successfully removed, the damaged port, we'll put that aside. By putting it aside I mean throw it into the garbage. Now we can grab our iron and our copper wick to clean each of the pads and each of the anchor points and prepare the daughter board for the brand new USB-C charge port to be installed. Looking good. And do a quick clean of the flux residue. Making sure that the pads are nice and clean, nice and shiny. Now we're taking our replacement USB-C charge board and putting it into a fixture. What we're going to do is tin each of the pins add a bit of solder to each of them which will make it easy when we're when we go to install it um, it will catch the pads on the daughter board much more effectively we're going to add some flux and then we're going to grab our soldering iron and tin each of these pins it's looking good should fix that bridge and touch up a couple of them on the bottom wheel Perfect. Now we can clean it off. And we're just about ready to proceed with installing the port. The next thing we're going to do, switching back over to the daughter board, is we're going to add a small pillow of solder to each of the pads. Now that that's done, we'll give it a quick clean. And then we're going to grab our new port and proceed with installing it onto the daughter board. Forgot to add flux to line all the pads of flux. We're going to grab our heat station. We're at 350 degrees Celsius and 40 airflow. We're going to heat the general area so that we can have uniform temperature across the daughter board and then focus heat directly onto the port. The, the uh, solder liquefier and the port now solid. Lift it and touch on one side so we're going to orientate the port a different way and heat it once more. Add a little more flux. Tap it into place there. Let it float in and hold it down for a second while the solder solidifies. It's all done. Now we're going to add some more flux and solder in each of these anchor points. The 
this port has been installed. Now we are ready to proceed with testing the phone. Moving the scope out of the way, grabbing the device. I'm going to place the daughter board into the housing and connect the flex cable to the FPC connector. I noticed a tad of corrosion from the original damage, so we cleaned it off. Going to connecting the battery and plugging in our charger with our USB-C meter, we see that the device is drawing almost two amps, which is normal, and is charging. So this phone is fixed and ready for reassembly, and we can get it back to the customer fully repaired. Thanks for watching.